Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel PhDNs. Today let us talk about how to submit a research article to Springer Nature journals. These journals are one of the reputed journals across the scientific community and they are more than 3000 research journals with more than 7 million research articles on board. So today let us jump onto the video and see how to submit your manuscript, your upcoming manuscript, if you have plans to submit to Springer Nature Journals. Before moving on to the content, let me remind you to please do like, share, and subscribe to your favorite channel, PhDNs. So, before moving on to the submission process, you need to have your complete submission files ready in the form of checklists such as manuscript file, figure files, covering letter, abstract, title page and if you have table you need to be ready with your tables and a file comprising of a reviewer list. So once everything is ready you can easily use a Google Chrome and you can search Springer Nature Journals. Once you type Springer Nature, it will uh, redirect you to Springer Nature Journal pages. And here you need to choose Journals. And here you can find information about complete journals which are being published by Springer Nature. As I said earlier, you can find more than 3000 journals with 7 million articles on board. So there are some of the journals which are newly launched, which can be found at the end of this page. So let me select one of the journals, SN Applied Sciences. So it is one of the interdisciplinary research journal which covers different fields of applied sciences ranging from physical science to biological science, environmental science, computer science, etc. You can find all the information about aim scope of this journal. Most importantly, there is no article submission or processing fees. You can read the information, complete information on this journal web page. The type of research article, what they are looking for. Also, they have broad range of uh, submission. Also, the articles published are indexed in some of the big database such as Google Scholar, Sci database, etc., which is one of the interesting asset of this new journal. Then click on to submit online. Once you click on submit online button, it will uh, redirect you for submission process wherein you need to enter your username and password. If you have not registered and if you are new then you need to register to this journal. As I have registered, I will enter my username and password and click Authors Login. Here you can see a different subheadings. I will click on to Submit Online. So once I click on to Submit Online, it enables me to submit my submission files and enter my title of the manuscript then followed by the attachment of my submission files so let me attach my submission file once my submission file is attached i can include or describe my submission type of files which i have been uploaded in the description box and here I will include as manuscript file then type here 
the description such as manuscript file then click on to proceed button for further submission process so here you need to choose the category of your manuscript which you are submitting from the drop down menu so let me choose the category of my submitted articles once the category is selected then we need to add some of the appropriate keywords here adding keywords is very important process uh, wherein it gives a choice for the editor to choose the type of a reviewer for your submitted manuscript so please do enter appropriate or relevant keywords related to your submitted manuscript once you are done with your keywords then there is a section of classification you need to click on classification and you need to choose the appropriate classification from the drop down menu and click the appropriate classification so here let me choose the classified um, section for the manuscript which i am submitting so i am choosing like three different categories or classification for my manuscript so once it is done you need to add and click next so after this you need to click on to proceed button which enables you to a section wherein you need to add reviewers for your manuscript you need to choose the reviewer who are expertise in your field with whom you have not shared any authorship or have any collaboration or have published a research article in past five years so let me add some of the reviewers who are expertise in the field of manuscript what i am submitting and the reason for choosing this man this reviewer you can easily state that this reviewer is one of the expertise for the communicated article here you need to choose at least two, two reviewers and here you need to click after adding this you need to click on save then add the second reviewer you can enter the details of the second reviewer be careful while adding the names of the reviewer sometimes the editor may choose the reviewers what you have mentioned or sometimes he may choose the reviewer based on his interest in a field which is related to your field so guys after adding the reviewer details then you need to just go ahead with the submission process by clicking save so in this journal minimum two reviewers are required so i won't add the third reviewer as most of the reviewers most of the journals require more than two like three or four reviewers so once you have entered your reviewer details click on proceed and here it is an important section where you justify your statement whether you have any conflict of interest if yes then you need to provide what are the conflicts if no then you can easily say no and click whether your conflict of interest has been included in the manuscript then here you need to add some of the details like what is the area of your manuscript which you have submitted here you need to describe the submitted manuscript like what are the highlights of this manuscript and what is the area of this manuscript and which is the category of this manuscript and what are some of the important points 
of this manuscript. For example, now the article what I am submitting is related to nanoparticles which acts as antibacterial agents. So I am briefly explaining about why it is important. You have like thousand characters where you can include in these respective section. Then click proceed. So here you need to enter the like covering page or information for editorial board. So let me include the information such as I am here by submitting my research or review article for your esteemed journal which has not been published anywhere else or is under consideration anywhere else. Then click proceed. Here you have a subsection where you need to include your title then followed by your abstract. So after entering the title and abstract then you need to add author's name. Here there are three authors and I am including the complete details of author such as name, first name, second name, their email address, their affiliation and the country where the research was carried out or their affiliation etc. Once you have come entered all the detailed information you need to click on to save button. Then after the complete information about your authors then you need to add the information about your funding source. You can enter the name of the funding agency, the number of the grant etc. Here in this manuscript there is no any funding agency so I will click no funding agency then you can click on save and submit later or you can straight away go for building PDF. So now you can straight away go for build PDF for approval. Here you can see the status of your manuscript as building PDF. Uh, once your manuscript is converted into PDF file, you can see here in this section, you will find the information like view submission. Click on to view submission where a PDF file is downloaded. See this PDF file whether the PDF file it contains all the necessary or correct information uh, which you have submitted. Once you feel it has been submitted, it is, it is correct, then you can straight, straight away approve your submission process. Once your submission process is approved, your manuscript will go for editorial board check and then followed by a review process and you will get a manuscript number for your future communication. So this concludes today's video. I hope you liked. Please do share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Guys, as a mode of example, I had communicated one of my review article to this journal which was published online after a revision process where you can find this review article on SN Applied Sciences. So this is my review article which was published. It was communicated in February 2019 and was published in June 2019. So you can see it has a fair like a review process duration where you can easily communicate and get your article published if it meets the journal criteria. So guys, thanks for watching. Once again, thank you so much. Please do like, share and subscribe to your favorite channel, PSDNs. See you guys with my next video. Till then, wish you very good luck in your research activities. Bye.